Tailwind is amazing in so many ways, but one thing that can be confusing with Tailwind is how you might use dynamic classes to change styles for things. Here we have three examples of buttons with outputs, each using a different method to apply Tailwind classes for the intended effect. The first button aims to toggle the width of the div below it. And when we click it, the div grows and shrinks. The way you do this with Tailwind might be counterintuitive. Let's take a look. First, we have a button that is toggling a use state variable off and on when it's clicked. Then below that, we have a CSS variable that's being set with that use state variable. And finally, the class name is being referenced with the CSS variable here. And to make it animate, we're using the transition all utility class. Next, we have a button that will toggle the color of a div between blue and not blue. Now, this also uses a use state variable called isBlue, which has a setter called setIsBlue. And on click, we are toggling that value. And when we toggle that value, the data state attribute is being set to either blue or not blue. And that attribute is being referenced over here as a utility class. So when the data attribute is set to state equals blue, then we get the BG blue 500 utility class. And when the same data attribute variable is set to not blue, we get the BG gray 300 class. And finally, we have a button that will toggle the direction of the SVG arrow inside the div below. And this is being done using another use state toggle called set is rotated, which is setting the is rotated use state variable. We're using this use state variable to populate yet another data attribute that indicates whether is rotated is set to true or false. Depending on whether it's set to true, which we can use this Tailwind utility class for, it will set the rotate 180 class. And down here, we also have the transition transform utility class, which will animate the effect. So this means that while we can't dynamically set the value of a Tailwind class, we can certainly use other dynamic parts of React or JavaScript to apply utility classes in different ways. Stay tuned for even more examples like these for dynamically setting Tailwind classes and other great React tips. Happy coding.